Tonight on the Pageant Cast, we have Elizabeth Seyfried. She is Miss United States 2014, and she's competing at Miss World coming up very, very soon. That's tonight on the Pageant Cast. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Hi, I'm Christy Grisson. This is North Carolina America 2014, and you're watching the Pageant Cast, the internet's first podcast about beauty pageants. Here's your host, Tim Kretschmann. You're watching the Pageant Cast. I'm your host, Tim Kretschmann. I'm so pleased that you could join us. I'm here at the TKPN studios and in the green room, and it really is a green room this time. We have Elizabeth Seyfried. She is Miss United States 2014. She's about to go and compete at Miss World on December 14th. How are you doing, Elizabeth? I'm great. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. We're really pleased to be able to have you on the show. I've heard so many great things about you all year round, and I'm going to find out if they're true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> all right. Fantastic. Well, you know, a question I like to ask a, a lot of the folks that come on the show, uh, is this your first pageant or have you had pageantcedents? Were there other pageants that you've been involved in? Uh, in before? Yes, I actually started in pageants when I was 18 years old. I did my very first pageant as a favor to a family friend. He needed one more girl in order to have the pageant even happen. So I did the pageant, called the pageant bug, and the rest is history. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so one of the things I noticed on your bio, Elizabeth, was, and we don't get into politics here, but you're very involved in uh, political science. How did you feel about the voter turnout in the recent midterm elections? So I actually partner with Rock the Vote, that's my national platform, and I go around the country speaking with the younger generation of, um, of voters and trying to get them active in elections. And we have seen a greater turnout in the last couple of years since Rock the Vote has had a larger presence in our nation. and. We still have a long way to go. That's the best way to put it. And I will continue to work with Rock the Vote and with any organization that puts emphasis on voter turnout. Well, I'm very proud that our local community, the city that we're in, we had 80% voter turnout. Now, the That's state crazy. was at 50%, but at least oh. our community pulled its weight. Oh, so, good. I was glad to hear that. So, okay, let's get back to pageants. Right into it. I, are there any publications or websites that you use to keep up on pageants, Elizabeth? Uh, you know, I, I really think that Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, any social media is the best way to keep up with anyone that competes in pageantry because you can keep up with people from all over the world and really deal with them personally and not deal with anyone who is critiquing them, not hear about a specific title holder, you know, via a blog post or another outside source. I like to be able to see the girl, get to know the girl, and see what she really is doing in her community. I think that's the best way to keep up with pageants. You know, when I started the show, uh, Voy Farms were about the only place you could find pageant information, and things have really changed, and I think for the better, as uh, people take accountability for, for what they're putting out there uh, socially, and it can help quite a bit. I uh, I know that um, social media is part of the competition at Miss World as well, correct? It is, yes, and that's very exciting. Miss World is so unique in a lot of what it offers, and I love that it really tests each title holder on how well she communicates with the people that she's representing because when you become Miss World, you have to represent the entire world and the most important part of that is keeping up with people on a day-to-day -day basis and the best way to do that is social media fantastic now um tell me a little bit about miss world at world uh what are the competitions that you'll be competing in or what are the phases of competition i should say well, like any other pageant, of course, we have evening gown, we have swimsuits, uh, but then we have some really fun things as well. Uh, we, Of course, we have many different interviews that we participate in. Uh, we have a debate-style interview, which I'm very excited about because interview is my favorite portion of competition. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a top model where I will be able to wear my gorgeous MacDougal gown that we had so much fun designing. It's very different and trendy and fashion-forward. So this is where you can really show your... Um, 
your inner fashionista and be able to do something a little outside of the box and and really work it on the runway. That's uh, that's the main competition uh, for Top Model is showing how well you can walk on the runway. There is beach wear, there is a sports competition to see how physically fit the title holders are, and there is, of course, the social media, the multimedia component, uh, testing the title holders grasp on technology and how well they can communicate in the world around us. And there is a talent portion of wow. this world. It's optional, but of course, it is encouraged to do so because the more points you can gain, the better. Well, that's a ton of different phases of competition that they have at Miss World. Now, I believe when you competed at Miss United States, you didn't even know that was going to be a part of things, did you? No, no. It was kind of <laughs> a didn't. surprise. There you have a crown on your head and, oh, by the way, you're going to London. <laughs> yes, yes. It was. He stopped the tele he stopped the uh, the pageant, mm -hmm. and of course the first thing that runs through your mind is oh gosh there's a problem, right? And it turns out it's not a problem. It's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, and I'm I'm presented with this amazing opportunity, and I leave a week from today, and I'm I'm so thrilled for everything that awaits me. Thanks uh, so much, thank Elizabeth. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna be back with more with Elizabeth Seyfried. She is competing in Miss World just a little moment from now but for right now she's still miss united states 2014 more in just a moment thanks for joining the most beautiful audience on the internet the pageant cast audience i'm rachel janowski miss teen illinois galaxy 2014 wishing you a tiara of dreams I am Laura Buman, Miss Universal Dream 2013, wishing you Tierra Dreams. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Amy Gregorio, Mrs. International 2013. We're ho ho hoping you have a very happy holiday season. This is the pageant cast, and we're back with the beautiful, the stunning Elizabeth Seyfried. She is Miss United States 2014, and uh, she's there. Now, you're in North Carolina right now, I'm guessing? I'm in Annapolis, North Carolina. Now, you've done your packing, and it's it, it's got to be tough to pack for a pageant <laughs> like this on the other side of the world. How it is incredibly tough the packing has been going on since september okay <laughs> and, um, i have a room next to mine that we have taken over and it's got racks of clothing and suitcases and everything you could possibly imagine so i can lay it all out and take a good look because i like to be very organized when i pack but it's going to end up being around 10 suitcases maybe more that i carry uh yes <laughs> <laughs> how, how <laughs> long is it me. over there how long is it over there it's a month a month Longer if I win, hopefully longer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but US Air is being so accommodating and they've waived all of my baggage fees and they're being so helpful and uh, getting me safely to London. So I'm very appreciative for that. I was about to say, you're going to have to uh, play around with that scale for hours and like. Okay, Gosh. let's put let's put this over here. Nope, <laughs> over there. Hey, it's time for our new favorite segment, Show and Tell. Elizabeth has something there to show us and tell us about. What have you got there, Elizabeth? I do. I have something very exciting because no one has seen these I can't yet. wait. <laughs> I can't wait. And you will see them on the Miss World stage, so you'll have to be on the lookout. But uh, another thing that's very cool about Miss World is that we have the national dance. 
And when I was researching what I wanted to do to represent America, I um, I stumbled across a, st a statistic. Sorry, that almost half of our states, their state dance is the line dance. And I had no idea about that. I thought that was very cool. And being from the South, I thought I should capitalize on that. And so I am going to be line dancing as my um, national dance representing the United States in these. Ooh. <laughs> ah. I'm going to show you a close up. Those are beautiful. And you know what? They, they really go with line dancing because I was thinking of Wisconsin state dance is polka. And it would not uh, work with polka. It would not work. Nope. That would work very good with the line dance. Now, are, are, you, are you going to do the line dance alone? Or I how, am. Okay. I am. If I'm chosen as one of the top national dances, the other girls will, will learn the dance. And it's okay. a fun dance. It's fun what we've come up with. So I think that they might want to learn it anyway. Uh, but I'm really, really excited to, to show everybody. Well, I work for a utility, so the only line dance I do is the electric slide. <laughs> That's what everyone said I should do. Well, a lot of people said I should twerk. I was like, I am not no. going to this world and twerking. That is not very good of a, a representation of the United no. States. So, no, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> so you can't go do it. and go line dance. You can't do that. Okay, well, that is gorgeous, and I know there are a lot of people jealous right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we're going to move into another one of our favorite segments. This is the Fantastic Favorite Five. Here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, were you impressed that I could count that high? I know you did. Oh, my God. I know. But here we ask you for five of your favorites, but they're in categories. And I know okay. you're prepared for one of these questions. I'm going to start with what is your favorite book? Oh gosh, okay, well, now you've put me in a tough spot because my real, my favorite grown-up book okay. is The Great Galaxy. I've read it like a hundred times. I love, love everything about it. Okay, um, hold on before you move on from that because I used to teach English. Which okay. version of the movie do you prefer? Oh, the original, the, Robert Redford. The Robert okay, Redford? Robert Redford. Okay, You're, you pass. You're correct. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But you had shown me a different book earlier. I have, and my favorite inspirational book. Okay. <laughs> this is something I've loved since I was a kid, and I have countless copies of it, and um, it's very special to me because, well, I'll show you the book. It's Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Okay. And um, you can't go wrong with Dr. Seuss either. No. But a lot of the times, I my international Beauty with a Purpose project is Save the Children. And you so many times see children who have lost their hope and they they just don't, they don't believe in themselves anymore. I always read them this book because I've had those times too when you think it's not going to happen, I want to give up. And this book got me through a lot. And that sounds silly because it is Dr. Seuss, but it, it stays true no matter how old you are. And I've found that when I read them this, it's some, something connects to them and I can see them light up again. And it gives them hope, like it gave me hope. So I always love to read this and look at Sparkly too. So, you know. Well, of course, you got the blinged out <laughs> edition. You know, now, have you ever done where they have the school day where you can go in and read Dr. Seuss to kids or yes. International Reading Day? Did you get yeah. to read this book? I, I didn't get to read this book, but when I was growing up, we always had Dr. Seuss Day celebrating yeah. his birthday, and everyone would come dressed as their favorite Dr. Seuss character, and I was the cat in the hat. <laughs> All right, our next fantastic favorite five. Trust me, we'll go through these a little quicker as we go. Uh, favorite movie. What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie is You've Got Mail. You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. My two favorite actors. That has to be, what, 2005, something like that. It's uh, Yeah, it's a little bit older. It's great, older. great rom-com. Based on a Jimmy Stewart movie in the 1930s, I believe. Something about the shop around the corner, I believe. Really <laughs> sad that I knew that. Oh. No, it's great. <laughs> it's a You're great, great, I love it. great, great movie. I love that yeah. movie. One of my favorite Meg Ryans that people forget because it isn't a standard rom-com, but I'm, I'm a dude and a geek. 
I love <laughs> Inner Space. It's one of my favorite movies. Do you really? And, yeah, Inner Space. She is just. I fell in love with Meg Ryan in that. I'm like, only I she could fall in love with a guy that's about that big. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute, though. She's yeah. very. Um, she's very lovable. Absolutely. She she does that in space. Did something attack? My Are dog okay? just joined us. Oh, what what's she his name? She's mean a diva. This is Belle. Okay, this She's is a Belle. rescue dog. Okay. <laughs> they, they, oh, look She's at that. She's performing a rescue right now. This is perfectly <laughs> framed. We're going to keep this just the way it is. It's perfect. She wants to be in, in the video. <laughs> Well, there you go. I'll let you know she jumps and attacks. Okay, let's go on to favorite. <laughs> All right, favorite TV show is next on our favorite five. Uh, see, now that is a tie. Okay. Between Modern Family. Excellent show. Thank you, and Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live, uh, current cast or one of the past casts or. You know, I love all of them. I do like the current cast. Um, I'm loving the 40th anniversary. That's very fun. But you can't you can't go wrong back back in the original cast. So yep. I, I just love being able to watch throughout the years and seeing what they spoofed on that week because it's kind of cool to see what was going on in history uh, in the current events that oh, week sure. and see how they made fun of it and see how they made light of it. And it's a very unique way to remember what was going on in the world. I loved when uh, Dennis Miller and Norm MacDonald had the weekend update. I thought those two, they yeah. were, it, that's yeah. one thing I think has been improved from the original cast, because I always thought Chevy Chase, he was great, but I thought his weekend update was kind of lame. Uh, really? But kinda there's been things I've hated about every cast because I'm super picky. But yeah. there, there have always been things that you can find that you love. Like when Billy Crystal was on Saturday Night Live. Oh, I know. He was kind of the only good thing on the entire show. I wish they bring him back to host now. You know, he hasn't been doing all that much in general. He was yep. huge for a while around Harry Met Sally. And he's really right. been quiet. The person they need to get on there, and he lives in New York, is Rick Moranis. They need to do this. I don't care how they do it. They need to get him on that show. I'm calling uh, him out. This is key and crucial. They can remake Ghostbusters. They can do this, okay? So <laughs> <laughs> That's like my one of my bucket list slash life goals is to attend a taping of SNL or to host it. I mean, well, I, I, <laughs> I'll take up there. I don't think that's I don't think that's undoable. I'm sure you can do that. That no problem. They'll set that up for you. Okay, our next favorite favorite musical act. Meaning. Meaning it could be a single performer. It could be a band. Um, okay, see, the theater geek in me thought you meant favorite musical. <laughs> well, what's that? Phantom of the Opera. Okay, that's incorrect. Music can you tell man I'm is like correct. Classic things. Yeah, you do. You so do. Much to do. Yeah, that's fantastic. But the correct answer is Music Man for Americans. Just keep oh, that in mind. You know what? I did I did my uh, eighth grade theater project on Music Man. Did you? That's, I did. You know, Gary, it, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. Jersey <laughs> Boys, then, because it sort of follows the same type of musical as Music okay. Man. Yeah, that's a great like one. I, You know, Jersey Boys? Haven't seen it yet. I'm a <gasps> huge, in that's fact, I. I saw Frankie Valley perform just a few oh. years ago. Oh my uh, gosh, I love the Four Seasons. Yeah, he uh, came out to Festa Italiana here in Milwaukee a while back. Really? Yeah, he was he was awesome. He still had full voice at that time. I don't know if he still does now, but uh, well, he was performing when I was at Miss United States. He was performing for the Fourth of July festival, and I was cool. in a parade at the same time, and I couldn't go. I was so sad. I was so close yet so far. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to do one more favorite. The favorite is going to be favorite fictional character. Favorite fictional character. Ooh, that's a good one. Why, thank mm. you. <laughs> I do love Holly Golightly in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Re you know, that one comes up a lot. Re well, that she's so classic. Yes. And just kind of kooky and sort of represents the insecurities of every woman. Here um, I am. <laughs> Of course, I love Daisy and The Great Gatsby. Of, of course. course. Of course. That would make sense. That would make sense. They're just eccentric and, you know, kind of just 
fun. We're just about at the end of our interview. I have to ask you, what is one thing you want to tell our listeners about your year of service? Hmm. The preparation for Miss World has been extravagant and as much as we could possibly do because I wanted to make sure that I could represent my country at the best of my abilities. But my main goal was to serve my country. And yes, this is a part of it, but I wanted to make sure that I made the maximum impact during my year. And I've loved being able to go around the country and help the children and try to make an impact in the things that I'm passionate about. And I'm really excited now that I have the opportunity to do so worldwide. So thank you to everyone for believing in me and supporting me and to my directors for this opportunity. And I can't wait to represent the United States. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Miss World is going to air live at www.missworld.com. Finals are at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard. on Televised on E! Entertainment. Yes, it's going to be on E! Entertainment as well. Uh, Sunday, December 14th, that's 2.30 in London. So like in the afternoon, that's going to be a weird time for a, a pageant. Yes. But, it is, but there's a crowning ceremony afterwards. So. Oh, yeah. It, it's going to be a full day for you. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm not worried about that. Uh, it, it, now, you're, it's going to be aired in 160 countries, but you're actually competing against only 130 countries. Yes. So you already, it, the way you should look at that is you already got 30 of them out of there. They're done. They're, they're yeah. not going to be a part of this competition. <laughs> and when you get there, you just kind of go, yeah, that one's not going to make it. That one's not going to make so it. I'm so excited, though, to make, you know, 130 new friends. And <laughs> I don't mean I don't have any friends in Spain or in Ghana or anywhere like that. So I'm excited to make friends in almost every country all over the world. That's, that's the coolest part. And, and remember to find out which ones have spare rooms. This is absolutely <laughs> crucial. You got to find He's that out. There. Yeah, have a little questionnaire ready. Okay. For the you, best cooks. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Yep. The, you already have been working on the questionnaire. I can tell. Fantastic. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Okay, we're, we're at the end of our interview, and one thing we like to always do at the end of our interview is to see your best pageant wave. Now, I know you've got to have a really good one. You are... Miss United States, you're going to a world competition. Yes. Let's see this pageant wave. So I was at an elementary school the other day working with some children, and I did a wave, and this little boy tells me, you are doing it wrong. That is not the pageant wave. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got a lesson in this. So I'm, you know, oh. I'm perfecting. Okay. Yeah, don't ever do that again. Uh <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, more like normal. That's more, that's it, normal. It looked like you had carpal tunnel. He said, he said you're supposed to twist it all the way yeah. around. No, the, the last time something got twisted all the way around, it was the exorcist and there was pea soup coming <laughs> shortly thereafter. Not like that. You don't want to do that. No. I Just a normal like way. That's good. That's called the flutter. Uh, there are many different types, and yes, I've seen the wrist, wrist, whatever. It it looks to me like something flailing in the wind. But a lot of people have opinions on that pageant wave. Now, have you done a lot of parades to test it out? I, I have done a few parades, but I, I always do this, and by the end of it, you're starting to think, am I waving awkwardly? Because you start to lose. You second guess your <laughs> wave? Attention to your to how you're waving and it feels weird after a while. Okay, I'm but just gonna I, say I, it. I, I power through. You gotta commit. You gotta you commit to the wave. Every once in a while, so it doesn't feel weird. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Well, I I love when uh, the pageant girls get um, punchy when I'm driving the the convertible and I look back there and they start doing the. Oh my god! <laughs> that just cracks me up. <laughs> yeah. I might have to start doing that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a that's a beauty. Yep, absolutely, fantastic. Well, it has been wonderful to get to know you. You're a lovely young woman, and we expect the best from you and wish the best at Miss World as you compete on December fourteenth. So again, everybody, this is Elizabeth Safrit. Did I say it right? 
You said it right. I said it right. Oh my god. I I have been dying because she said my name right. So I'm like, <laughs> I have got to get this right. We're butchering but, each other's names. Yes. Yes. Well, you know my pain. So uh, <laughs> she is Miss United States 2014. And by the time you're watching this, who knows? She could be Miss World. Thanks so much, Elizabeth. Tiara Dreams. Thank you. Pageant cast.